Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In today's Viking Rise video, we are going to take a look at the best equipment for pikemen heroes. Another glorious day in the Viking Rise realm. And another day of people trying to sell me resources. Me. Hi. Would you like to sample our new sex? No, fuck off. Can't be sidetracked with cheap sex potions. Let's get right into it. For the main hand weapon, there is a clear winner for the best in slot accolade that comes in the form of the Tusk Hammer from the Gluttonous Boar Monster set. This little beauty provides both pikemen attack and defense in copious amounts, and stands head and shoulders above the alternatives. It is also for that reason that it doesn't come cheap, requiring nine ultra-rare materials from the monster set. But once obtained, it will serve you faithfully. A cheaper alternative to the Tusk Hammer would be the Serpent Sword from the Sneaky Snake-looking monster. I forget its name, but nevertheless, it does not require ultra-rare materials to build, and provides the same amount of attack but none of the defense the Tusk Hammer has to offer. Moving on to the headpiece, the best in slot item is the Savage Headgear from the Berserker Bear Monster set. Providing massive defense buffs along with a modest health point increase, this helmet is a must-have for your pikemen heroes. Alternatively, I would suggest the Howler's Crown from the Death Hound Thing set, which requires only three ultra-rare materials. But be warned, the Howler's Crown does share a material pool with another best in slot item in today's video, making it that bit more expensive to progress the two pieces together. This would be my preference over the Misty Hood, but make no mistake, the Misty Hood is also a great alternative to the Savage Headgear. It provides good defense and does not require any ultra-rare materials either. For the chest piece, I personally think the Wolf Hide Spalders from the Wolf Monster set is the best in slot due to the large amount of pikemen health it provides. Costing six ultra-rare materials, it doesn't come particularly cheap, but I believe the health points are worth it. A very good and much cheaper alternative can be found in the Sunset Cape from the Dark Raven Monster set. This piece provides a hefty amount of pikemen attack and requires no ultra-rare materials to craft. On a similar level in value, the Fury Armor from the Berserker Bear set is also a solid chest piece that provides a good amount of defense, but it does require ultra-rare materials that are shared with the best in slot head piece for pikemen, potentially further increasing the price of progression, depending on which items you go for. And lastly, we come to the leg piece, of which there are four items to choose from. But for me, the Ripper Greaves are the best in slot leg piece for pikemen. They provide a large amount of pikemen attack, but they also cost a massive 12 ultra rare materials. A much cheaper option would be the Strength Leggings from the Berserker Bear set, which provide a solid amount of pikemen defense. And the best part is they do not require any ultra rare materials. Both the spiked boots, providing attack bonus, and the appendage chosses, providing health points, are both good mid-tier choices too. Both of these items require a small amount of ultra-rare materials. And there we have it. The tusked hammer, the savage headgear, the wolf hide spalders, and the ripper greaves are my best in slot pikemen equipment. But there are worthy alternatives to be explored all of which are considerably easier to obtain. Let me know down in the comments section if there are any items in this list you disagree with. 
And if you have enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for future content releases. Until next time, my friends, take care and farewell.